What's going on guys, this is Burz. I want to talk to you today about the Tactical Tailor Urban Operator Pack. This is a pack you can use for pretty much anything. It's a great size, it holds a lot of stuff, and it holds stuff well, which a lot of packs on the market can find, uh, it can have the challenge doing that. Um, you can have it sagging, it doesn't feel good as far as the support, but this pack does it all and it does it all well. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So first off, let's take a look at how it sits on your back. This, is, this has about 25 to 30 pounds in it right now, which is pretty heavy for a regular bag. You get the shoulder straps on, and you can see it doesn't sag. And that's a huge thing. It actually uh, fits really uh, flat against your back. And that's pretty amazing given the fact that it doesn't have sternum straps. I was kind of pissed off when I got it because I didn't realize it didn't have sternum straps uh, to hold it on your shoulders and keep it on. And once I put it on, I realized that, hey, this actually fits really nice and it fits amazing for not having sternum straps. I reviewed the uh, first spear large compact uh, com pack in the in the past and that didn't have sternum straps either and it would come off to a degree i don't have that issue with this and with almost close to 30 pounds in this size of a pack and not coming off your shoulders that's a pretty impressive feat so let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the pack i just have a bunch of range stuff in here at the moment but i can give you an idea how much it holds you can see that it doesn't come down all the way. It only comes down halfway for the pack compartment, the main one. And then you have a nice little area where you can put, uh, I put brass in here after I'm done, or you can put a water bottle. Or if you're not gonna use this at all, you can actually zip this up and make it nice and uh, much flatter on the side. It has bungee as well, so you can cinch in whatever you're putting in there. On the opposite side, you got a whole bunch of pals webbing, so you can kind of put whatever pouch on there if you want to. So let's take a look at the inside. Let's see what I have in here. I got some night vision, some bungees, I got some clothing, some Enola Gay smokes. Did a review on these if you guys are interested in that. I got my rear bag, some cordage, a belt, Lancer mags. Got four of those, two boxes of Black Hills and another little pouch full of uh, two lines of ammunition. So it could fit a little bit more in the main pouch, but that's what I have in there. The cool thing about this is it has a high-vis orange uh, inside. So if you want to turn this inside out, you can use this as a uh, rescue device in a survival situation. Just flip this inside out and you got a nice high-vis orange uh, inside to it. When you unzip the side here, you open up another pouch that you can fit a 17-inch laptop into if you're gonna use it more in an urban kind of setting. We'll go ahead and flip it to the back and I'll give you a look at the back here. You can see it's nice and flat. There's a little bit of uh, airflow right here where the uh, stitching is, but it's flat on the back. You have nice big straps. They're relatively nicely padded. And along with everything Tactical Tailor does, you know, everything's top notch as far as the stitching goes, the webbing used, all their uh, buckles and, and all the hardware is uh, top notch. As far as the zippers go, you know, this is Tactical Tailor at its finest. They use hardcore zippers so you can open and close things super quick and you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have durability concerns. Um, all my Tactical Tailor gear, I've never had any concerns whatsoever of it breaking and uh, you shouldn't either. So flip it around the front where you have a nice little area to put some patching, uh, name tape right here, and you have a secondary compartment right here. We'll take a look at that. Let's see what I have in here. I got an IFAC, some glasses, cleaning rag, mist clean kit, GPS, roll of camo form, tourniquet, another cleaning rag, gun oil, flashlight, epic bison bar, extra batteries, and I have a knife and a Sharpie in here as well. The cool thing about the inside of this uh, compartment is that it has a bunch of different areas for storage uh, and organization. So you have areas where you can put your, uh, your pens and pencils and all that stuff. You have a nice little area where you can put a hook. You have two compartments on the inside here so you can uh, put stuff if you wanna really keep stuff out of the weather you have a nice little zippered pocket as well on the inside. Coming to the front here, it's actually kind of funny they did this. Uh, I have the saddle shooting tripod here. We did that video a while back, if you're interested in how to make one of those. It's interesting because in the past I have said that the one thing I think Tactical Taylor could do a better job of, or something they could adapt into their gear or their packs, is some bungee on the front of their packs. And it's funny that this Urban Pack has that on the front, because you can see I can put a pair of pants, uh, some mesh here, and it fits really well with this bungee that's on the front. So that'll lead us to the last pocket on the front here, which is rather big. I just have some uh, lens wipes and a battery, and um, you can actually put a lot more in this pouch if you wanted to. 
I'll get a picture of this so you can get a better idea. But you can see how big that front pouch is. And you can see how big these are as well. So you can put a lot of stuff in here. Like I said, this had close to 30 pounds in it. And you can see that it wasn't sagging on my back. It's really supportive. And it's just a all around really well made pack and well engineered. Now given this is an urban pack, this does not have anything on the inside for a bladder, um, for a water bladder. It doesn't have any holes or anything for you to run the lines. So if you're uh, looking for something like that, this probably isn't the pack for you. Um, or you could yourself just cut a nice little slit here and then stitch that up on the side so it won't fray. And you can create your own little um, you know, water hose if you need to do that, the little access to your water hose. So if you're into that, that's what you're probably gonna have to do with this because it doesn't have that built in and that's on purpose. So let's look at the specs here. So this is 1,836 cubic inches as far as space goes. You're looking at made in the USA. And this whole thing is made of a 1,000D Cordura. So if you're looking for durability, you can definitely get that. This comes in lots of different colors. Um, you have multicam, coyote brown, ranger green, and black. So you have a good spectrum of colors to choose from if you're looking to uh, get whatever co color pack you want to use. As far as the specifications go, for the front pocket, you're looking at 12 and a half tall, uh, 10 and a half wide, and 3 inches deep. And for the main pocket, which is this one back here, you're looking at... Uh, 18 and a half tall, 12 wide, and six and a half inches deep, uh, or six and a quarter inches deep. So you're looking at a nice size pack. Like I said, you can use this for pretty much anything, grab and go bag. Um, you know, a lot of people have a lot of different uses, but the main thing that comes across with this pack is how it was engineered and designed, uh, how it feels on your back. I have another Tactical Tailor uh, pack, I believe it's called the Modular Operator Pack, and I prefer this one over that one just because of the feel of the pack and how it feels on you. Um, it, it's just more supportive in my opinion, and it has a little bit thicker uh, padded straps than that one does. So this is actually my favorite Tactical Tailor pack out of all of them that I have. And uh, if you guys are looking for an all-around pack, I'd definitely say check this one out. For the price tag of $150 and made in the USA, I don't think you'll find anything better out there. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys do have one of these Urban Operator packs from Tactical Tailor, go ahead and put it in the comments down below how you like it, or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. I'm, gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to read this. I can't, I can't memorize all these specifications.